All right, so today we are going to run through kind of the basic configuration and setup for uh, Devo 7e running Deviation 5 and a B-Brain flight controller. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is bind the Devo 7e to the flight controller uh, to the B-Brain. So uh, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the uh, Devo 7e into the uh, USB port and I've got my 7e powered on here so what I'm going to do is go into the model menu hit enter and then I'm going to go model setup and I'm going to scroll down yep, to the protocol type and I'm just going to scroll over until I find DSMX and here we go and then I go to bind and hit enter. And you should notice a uh, solid red light uh, on the B Brain Fly controller once it's bound. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to go up and change PPM to channel. I'm going to go ahead and exit and go down to mixer. Okay, so now on beta flight, I'm going to go ahead and connect. Um, there's not really anything to do here on this uh, setup tab. Um, we're going to go straight down to receiver. So now at this point we should be able to move the sticks and we should see some input on the screen, which we do. So uh, the first thing um, is we need to set our endpoints and our, our midpoint. So the low point should be a thousand, midpoint should be fifteen hundred, and high should be two thousand. But you know if I if I look at my throttle right now, I'm at eleven seventy eight and my max is eighteen fifty five. If I go roll, uh, I'm 1175 and 1855, so I'm off, and also my mid's off as well. Um, and not to mention, I'm reversed. If I roll right, I go left. If I go left, I go right. Uh, it's the same thing with my yaw, too. So I need to get that corrected as well. So let's go ahead and start with the, uh, with the throttle here. So we'll go ahead, you know, going in through through the mixer menu we're going to go right here on throttle and we are going to scroll down to scale so let's see if i throttle up and increase the scale that's not what i want okay so i'm gonna put that back Let's go to scale plus there we go okay so I want to get right up to that 2000 mark a little high so there we go let's go more there we go um, good with that so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that and then go all the way throttle all the way down and Raise this. There we go. All right, so I'm in good shape there. So I'm going to go ahead and exit, and then I'm going to go down to aileron. Enter. And the first thing I can do is get my directions correct. So right here on reverse, where it says normal, if I just hit enter, it'll go to reversed. And if I go right, it now goes right. If I go left, it now goes left. So we're good there. Now let's go ahead and scroll down again to the scale. And uh, let's see here. So let's hold right and move this. Okay, so that, we wanna go the other way with that. So we can get up there to 2000. So we're gonna go, go, go. There we go, we're dialed in there. And then if I go left, 
Uh, I'm gonna adjust the other uh, scale. So I'll go left. I want to drop that down. I went the wrong way again. So just keep going. Um, there we go. Okay. So, but my midpoint's still off. So to correct that, I'm gonna adjust. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna adjust the sub trim. So I need that to be at 1500 so I'll just go down all right so we're good there so I'm gonna exit I'm gonna go down to elevator is going to be pitch so let's go let's pitch forward and make some adjustments oh, I'm gonna pitch down and make adjustments okay so let's get this down okay and we'll adjust the scale Going up, I'm literally just going to go through and do this um, with with the uh, pitch roll, yaw, and there we go. There, okay. Got to adjust the sub trim, so we'll lower that. Exit and let's go down to rudder. And same thing here, I need to change that from normal to reverse. Now, when we yaw left, it goes left, right goes right, so we're good there. And again, we're going to go down to scale. And let's see here. down all right we're good on the midpoint there this didn't mean move back out quite that far okay so now one thing you'll notice is the F mod and the hold I'm not getting anything on those so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to uh, hold and you can see that there's nothing assigned there so i need to go into none and i'm going to go ahead and change that to simple i'm going to scroll down to the source and i'm going to change that to hold zero and i got to make sure i save that you don't have to save any of the other ones but you do have to save edits in this column here um, the next thing so I guess if I move hold, there we go, so aux1, and on channel 6, I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to assign that to fmod, so go ahead and make simple, and then change the source. There we go, and we'll go ahead and save that. All right, so we're in business there. Now we can go ahead and move forward with setting our mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out here. And then on beta flight, go ahead and go into modes. And there we go. So let me blank these out because this is what you'll be starting with. Um, and we'll add a range for arm, which I want my hold switch to activate arm. So I want up to be disarmed, I want down to be armed. So I'm going to get this yellow notch right about in the middle here. Okay, and then for air mode, um, I want to use this uh, 
F mod switch, which we know is going to be auxiliary two. Okay, I want up to be disarmed and down to be armed. Okay, so if I go ahead and save that. I'm in business. All right, so we're good to go there. Um, the only other thing that I could recommend would be backing up your settings. So if you go back to the setup tab, uh, choose this backup option, and you can do a dump and save your beta flight uh, to your desktop. So I definitely recommend doing that once you get everything dialed in. Uh, we can cover PID tuning. If that's something you guys want to see, just uh, leave some notes in the comments. and can run through a video. Uh, these are not the PIDs that I'm running. Um, these are the stock PIDs. Um, mine are a little bit different, um, but if that's something that you guys want to see, just let me know. All right, thanks for watching.